Well, hello there everyone, it's UXW Bill here once again, and in case you can't tell from my voice, I've been under the weather. And I don't know exactly what it was that I caught, but it was some kind of a nasty cold bug. It also induced the first fit, not to, not to get too gross here, but it also induced the first fit of throwing up I'd had in probably just a little bit shy of a decade. I'd forgotten how much I hate that feeling. And I haven't started liking it any better, but that's not the subject of this video, and I'm on my way to recovery, although I spent this entire weekend sick, hence the reason why I haven't made a whole bunch more videos than that. <coughs> some people during my last blog TV show asked if I could give some details on my setup, and so that's what I'm going to try to do with this video, because the last time I talked about this setup in any great amount of detail, it was a half an hour long video log that was mixed up with a whole bunch of other stuff, and I can understand why people wouldn't want to watch that. So let's see, we'll start with uh, well, we'll start with this right here, and you don't need to comment on the mess that this room is. Thank you very much. What we have here, we have a realistic cardioid dynamic microphone, a little foam windscreen on it there. And you can see this is on a microphone stand. This is on a boom microphone stand, and it was kind of hard to find one of these in my price range, i.e. the less the better. But I finally found one through the magic of eBay. And so that's the microphone that I use when I'm doing my announcing and storytelling to try and put you all to sleep. And then over here, the microphone is upstairs right now because it's being used for something else. But this is the microphone that uh, Bizarre Furhead and the Key Keeper and our mother were all sharing on the last show when they were featured. Now, turning the corner here... We've got the uh, music computer. This is the trash picked Dell Dimension 2300 computer system. And then up here we have the 3M video distribution amplifier and color bar and sync generator. Both of them genuine uh, mid to late 1970s articles. And then a four way video switch to go between color bars one camera and the Hamfest Dell Dimension 4550 computer whose TV output is actually being used to do things like running the WeatherStar emulator and stuff. Then up here we have my turntable of choice, a Technics, imagine that, linear tracker. This is an SLJ11D. I have a previous video about this. It has an Audio Technica AT3482 82p cartridge on it, I believe, if I'm reading that right. And so that's the turntable. This is the uh, digitized music player computer. The computer's down there, of course, as previously mentioned. And then to save space up here, I have a Lexmark keyboard with a built-in track point. The track point is actually a serial connection, and the uh, keyboard connection is actually a 5-pin DIN. But that's no big deal to adapt it. Over here, we have keyboard for the main computer, the display panel, that was given to me, both of these display panels were given to me. This one is an NEC Multi-Sync LCD 1560V, and this is a Dell something or another whose model number is not readily available. Then there's the mixer, this is the little Newmark Studio Master Control Center, DM1300, and I am using this thing for just about everything that it can do, because right there is an audio switch for the two line level audio sources that I've got. One of them being the music player computer and the other being the CD player. And then at some point I'll be adding that tape deck into the mix and playing some stuff on cassette. I have my Sennheiser HD 280 Pro 64 ohm headphones, a Technics SA210 stereo receiver for audio monitoring purposes, and originally, I had a sharp single disc CD player that is sitting down there right now as a means of punishment because I used it on my first show and it actually acted up a couple of times, went into little skipping fits when I'd pause it and stuff like that. Luckily, I caught it before it ever went out on the broadcast, but I traded it in for one of the uh, Hamfest, the Hamfest sourced Optimus CD7300 six disc changers which was definitely a step up and I've just got a post-it note around here of what's in the changer at any particular given time. The encoding computer for flash media encoder that actually encodes the broadcast before you get to see it is a Dell Dimension 
E521. This was a system that was given to me. It was struck by lightning, but everything except the motherboard and the telephone modem survived. And I decided that given the uh, other components appeared to be fine and are still working to this day, I decided it would be worth the investment of a new motherboard, which cost me about $80 from some seller on eBay who had a cache of new old stock sealed in the box Dell motherboards. So there you have it. That is my blog TV setup. Thank you for watching, and feel free to leave a comment, unless of course you're just going to chide me on what a mess this room is, which you really don't need to be doing. Thank you.